Thank you for joining me today. We're going to learn a little bit about analyzing data in Excel with the sorting and filtering feature. This means we're technically going to take all of the unorganized information that the computers gathered about your customers and turn it into something that makes a little more sense to us as the sales representative. So I think you're going to find this really beneficial when looking at your sales numbers while getting a chance to utilize the entire spreadsheet. So keep in mind you can sort alphabetically, numerically, by date, and you can even customize your own, which I'll also get into a little further. But you're going to notice first and foremost that you've got a lot of columns here, all representing different important information that the computer again has gathered about your customers. There's also one for sales ID that I did have right here, but for the sake of anonymity, I did keep that hidden. And that's also another thing that I want to show you, first of all, is how to hide. Excuse me while I change gears here. So although important information, everything here, some of it might not be as relevant when you're trying to analyze. So what I'm going to teach you here is how to hide certain noise that we might not want to focus in on. So what I did here was I dragged my mouse along the columns here. I don't think we necessarily need those, the customer number and the customer department right now. So I'm now going to right click and hide that information. Uh, maybe not so much the information here. Yes, the address is very important, but let's right click again and hide that. Keep in mind it's not hidden forever. If you go over from D to G here, you can right click again and unhide and poop, it comes back. But I do want it hidden so I'm just going to click back there. So I'd say the rest of this information I guess we can keep. It is a smaller board to work with and again everything is still here once you unhide unhide it. And the same goes for your rows as well if you want to hide, but I think that we probably want to keep those numbers. So we have our wonderful information to work with here, and we notice that all of the customer name information is in alphabetical order for the most part, maybe not so much. So I guess it isn't. What if we want to see it in alphabetical order? We are going to right click any cell under the customer name area section here. And we are going to right click. There is a section here for sorting and we can choose A to Z. And everything will update accordingly. Now we have everything in alphabetical order. Well, maybe you don't necessarily want to see your customer name in alphabetical order. Maybe you want to see all of the cities in alphabetical order. Well, again, I'm going to choose any cell in the city category up here. Right click in there. Sort again. A to Z, or you can go reverse alphabetical if you want. And again, everything populates to reflect the cities in alphabetical order. Again, the same also applies for your sales. Maybe you want to see, you know, where you're lacking, where your pitfalls are, where are you succeeding most. Again, we're going to right click in here and you'll see it knows that this is a number when we go to sort here. So let's do our largest to smallest. Let's make ourselves feel happy. So we see our numbers here and again, this is all going to reflect your year to date as I did. We can also do the last year to date. Right click again, sort, and we can do smallest to largest. And again, it's going to populate based on the specific column that we're working with. So you can sort everything this way, but this also takes me to our customizable sorting option. Let's see what it looks like in a specific area with our sales. So I'm going to go into the sorting area right here. And I want to look 
how am I doing for my sales in each specific city? So I'm going to want to click sort by city. A to Z is fine. The values that are already in there are set. And I'm going to add a level. So it's going to sort by the city and then by whatever I choose, which I want to do my year-to-date sales. Let's do my smallest to largest. That's fine. And now you're going to see, once I click OK, everything is going to populate according to city with my largest to smallest sales. So now you can see specifically how you're doing in each city. And the same goes, you can do the customizable for everything. You can delete these, and you can make your own. Again, I'm not the saleswoman, but I am here to help you with these tricks. All of them are interchangeable. Again, you can unhide and reuse whatever columns you want to use. Everything rewatch, and I'm sure you will get the hang of it. So I think that about covers it for sorting. Now I think we're going to move on to filtering, which I think, in my opinion, is a lot easier. I am going to unhide everything that we've worked with. So we've got almost everything back. And you're going to pretend like you didn't see that. So, now that we have everything here in front of us, filtering gives you the option to work with a smaller scale. It's not as intricate as the sorting option, but it does help. So, what we're going to work here with is our filtering button here. Again, this is in the Data tab. I'm going to press Filter. And when I do that, you're going to notice there's going to be a drop-down icon now next to each column. And it does something really amazing here. So let's say, again, we want to perhaps sort alphabetically. Well, it does it right there for you. Everything here is now going to populate alphabetically, which is exactly what we did with the sorting. The same thing goes for your year-to-date. You can do your smallest to largest, and again, everything populates according to that. Now, keep in mind, you can also choose certain data that you want to keep, certain data that you want to omit. For instance, Maybe you want to see it just a specific company that you've been working with. Or maybe a few at a time. Let's check these specifically, just at random. It's going to take just that information that I wanted and give you just that small board to work with, which is really nice. It takes away a lot of the noise and the scrolling. So keep that in mind. Again, you can do that with anything. You'll know that you have a certain filter on because there's going to be that little arrow next to this drop-down icon. Remember to keep in mind you can clear that filter. And to get rid of the filter altogether, you just unclick and you'll see those drop-downs will disappear. Again, I would say this is a very simpler, easy way to do this. Again, sorting is more intricate, but I hope these tricks have helped you and will become something that you will use on a regular basis to help you here at Azor. So thank you again. If you have any questions, I am Marnie, and you can contact me at my direct line here, 615 Four seven one nine.